Uh, we have the NEC. I had it addressed here. Uh, I know they paid some of the teachers in July. They paid, in fact, most of them in July. After we had written to them and we had made a lot of noise, they paid in July. But we are still telling NEC, and I had the Education Subcounty Director here saying that, uh, that the exams are coming. We are telling NEC, when the exams are done and you contract teachers to man those exams, then ensure that you pay promptly. Because the government had obligated itself to take over the payment of national exams. So it means that when they make their national budget, they give allocations to management of national examinations. That's 20 shillings or 100 shillings that you are paid as an examiner or an invigilator or a, a marker. That 100 shillings you are paid. If it is not given to you in good time in uh, December after doing that work, and it is given in July, is, those people who know finance, is the shilling stable at that time? Is the shilling the same? It is not the same, isn't it? So let them pay promptly, and if they are not going to pay promptly, then we will ask our teachers not to do what? Not to do what? Not to man the exams. We want that prompt payment, and we, have read, we are going to write to the teachers uh, uh, to the NEC and tell them we will not want to experience further delay in payments.